If you have your eye on the Banuke Power Shot bow or any of the nifty armour that heals you over time in Horizon Zero Dawn the Frozen Wilds, you're going to need Blue Gleam. These bright blue crystals can be found all over the cut, sprouting from machine corpses. Here's where you can find Blue Gleam in the snowy, snowy land of the cut. Southwest corner, west of Song's Edge. Amount, three. Fast travel to the campfire near the southwest corner of the map. The blue gleam is directly west of Song's Edge. From the campfire, run south into the woods and make your way to the snowy slopes covered in pine trees. You'll find two machine corpses festering with blue gleam close to each other between large areas of red grass. The crystal shook. Better watch my fingers. The last one is in the snow to the east of these bits. It's south of a rocky outcrop about a metre away from where the snow starts to appear on the ground. West corner on the slopes of the mountain. Amount, five. Teleport to the campfire west of the ruins. Run northwest directly up the steep snowy hill. Continue until you get to the path that winds its way up here and keep going in a northwest direction through the trees. Once the trees start to clear, you'll see the first bit of blue gleam on the slope above a rocky outcropping. The second bit can be found directly southwest from here. This blue gleam will make some shaman happy. Gather both and run up to the northeast to find an additional store of blue gleam on the slope. Then go back up to the west of the slope and right at the top there's a fourth place you'll find the blue crystals. Run east from here to pick up the last bit on a rocky ledge. This blue gleam off carefully. Centre west area, north of the ruins. Amount, three. Travel to the campfire to the northeast of the ruins. Run west from the campfire and scrabble up the snowy slope. When you get to the area with pine trees but no rocks, look out for three stores of blue gleam very close together in a triangle formation. Good amount of blue gleam leaked off this one. East of the ruins. Amount, five. Cross the river running to the north of the campfire. Head east and then south so you're running on the edge of the ridge of a mountain. Keep going and you'll find your first bit of blue gleam. The festival of blue gleams worth braving the cold. Head to the campfire to the south. Run directly northeast from here and make your way around the rocks near the pine tree. Then go west and pay attention to the cliff face on your right. There are handholds leading up to a plateau above. Simply follow them upwards to find four stores of blue gleam right at the top. Blue gleam. Or frozen machine fluid. Southwest of the dam. Amount? One. Go to the campfire to the southwest of the dam. Run northeast and you'll find it between two large rocks about 30 steps away. Won't be hard to sell a chunk like this. Northwest of the map, south of Araya's retreat. Amount, one. Travel to the campfire to the west of the colourful pools, not the one to the southwest. 
you'll end up right next to an icy lake where there's a control tower. That's if you haven't taken care of it already. Watch out for the robots and head northwest. Follow the road to the north of the icy lake, head up to one of the rocky platforms that overlooks it between two ruined tents and a sled. The blue gleam is on the edge of the platform behind some shrubs. West of the map, west of the iced over lake by the control tower. Amount, one. Teleport to the campfire to the south of the shaman's cave, which you'll go through on your way to find Araya. Go all the way through it until you come to the bridges that are being filled with water. Before you go over the one directly in front of the waterfall, gingerly make your way down the rock face using the handholds until you're at the large snowy platform below. Run east and there you'll find the blue gleam. North of the map, on the road up the mountain. Amount, three. Travel to the campfire directly to the north of the one by the control tower lake. Follow the road north, then when you see another road, join it from the south, double back and follow that path. When you get to the area where there's a ruined sled and a cage covered in snow, go directly west and climb up on the rocks nearby to find the blue gleam. Let's find this blue gleam a better home. Then head directly north onto the snowy slopes and you'll find the next bit of blue gleam close by, just in front of a fallen tree. Now go back to the road and follow it all the way up past the zip line. When you get to the area full of dead trees and by a charger site, continue following the road past the second zip line on your right. Keep going until you see the weirdly shaped snow peaks on your right, they look kind of like old meringue drooping over, and head east from there through the trees. Keep heading east and you'll find the blue gleam in between the trees near a gatherable herb. Blue gleam. Or frozen machine fluid. East of the drone hangar. Amount? Three. First, make your way to the drone hangar. Head east all the way past the snowy slope to find the first bit of blue gleam. From there, head southeast until you get to the top of the ridge. Clamber over the rocks, not down the slope, heading south. <sighs> then double back and follow the rocky platforms round to the east to find the next bit. I could forget what warmth feels like out here. North of the colourful hot springs. Amount, one. Travel to the campfire to the east of the colourful hot springs. Follow the road that heads northwest, then when it splits into two, take the right hand path that leads east. Keep following it and take the path that goes in between the mountains, with an area of red grass directly in front of it. Follow it west until you can see the blue Banuk lanterns. Then climb onto the rocks. You might want to kill the lance horns and scrappers below. The blue gleam is close by, to the east, near the edge and between two pine trees. Let's find this blue gleam a better home. East of the colourful hot springs. Amount, three. Teleport to the campfire to the east of the colourful hot springs. Follow the road north and when it splits take the easternmost path. Run directly ahead and you'll see the platforms leading up to the beige rock. Climb all the way up and you'll find the first blue gleam. Keep going north and you'll find the next set of handholds leading up the cliff face. Just by some rusted railings is the second bit of blue gleam. Gather it, then climb up the snowy slope that's at the east and follow it around right to the southern edge, where you'll find the last bit of blue gleam to the right of some pine trees. The 
crystal shard. Better wash my fingers. South of the colourful hot springs. Amount, one. Like before, make your way to the campfire on the east of the colourful hot springs. Run southwest in a direct line along the snowy slope. Keep going in this direction and you'll find some blue gleam in front of some rocks. On the road south of the colourful hot springs. Amount, three. Travel to the campfire in the middle of the map to the west of Longshot. Glinthawks will often attack you as soon as you spawn, so watch out for them. First, head directly southeast up the snowy slope to find the first bit of blue gleam. It's in front of a shallow ridge of rocks. Return to the campfire and this time head west along the side of the mountain. In a V-shaped nook in the mountain face, there's a blue gleam right in front of a pine tree. Won't be hard to sell a chunk like this. Keep heading southwest down the road. Go past the charger site and follow the road west until you get to the dead tree and the bunting overlooking the charger site. Head southeast to find the blue gleam near the edge of the cliff. This blue gleam will make some shaman happy. South of the map. Amount, three. Travel to the campfire in the south of the map, the one that's right next to Ruin Tents. Head southwest to the top of the ridge, where you'll find three bits of blue gleam close to a fallen tree. <laughs> East of the map, south of Longshot. Amount? Two. Go to the campfire southwest of Longshot. Follow the road east until you get to the south side of the lake. When the road bulges suddenly to the south, start running south towards the multiple fallen trees in the distance. Here you'll find two bits of blue gleam. Not just the Banuku of precious jewels. And that's it for blue gleam in Frozen Wilds. Let us know where else you found Blue Gleam in the comments below, click the boxes on the left for more content from us, and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, previews, and features right here on Game Radar Plus.